Hi guys, it's Amy. Okay, I am back with my stamping on tissue paper for resin tutorial or process video. And uh, this is what the finished ones look like. Something like that. So I am running low on bezels though. I really need to get some more. Hopefully that's, you can see that. Um, this is the way I'm going to do it. Of course, it's probably not the right way. But um, I'll just show you how I'm getting my glitter to stick down in this bezel and, and all of that. I am using stickles, which is glitter glue. And I'm just going to put some down here. Kind of spread it around. I don't want it too lumpy, though, so I'm going to be spreading it out with a paintbrush. Um, you could probably just use Mod Podge or something like that. Let me find a paintbrush that's not super gross. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of try to get it in all the corners and everything. Because I don't want the glitter to float up. And because this bezel is so shallow, I don't want to do um, a layer of resin with glitter and then have to try to put another layer on top of it. So you resin people know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so I'm using UV resin just because this is such a shallow bezel. And uh, I also don't want to have to wait 24 hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the UV resin, which I will show you in a second. Okay. So I just decided to use the glitter glue um, to glue down my glitter in case, you know, some of it shows through, basically. So, got that. And now I'm going to grab some glitter. Of course, you don't have to use glitter in the background. You can actually... Um, have one that I painted. Yeah, like this one I just dabbed paint on. Just a few different colors. Focus. There you go. But to be a little quicker, I am going to go with the glitter. And I think I'll just, um, what colors do I want? <laughs> That's always the hardest part. Um, I'm going to go with this Paradise and Citron from Recollections. So, and I'm doing this standing up, so <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to go, but I'm just going to sprinkle some on. And I'm not trying to do a um, striped thing. I'm just kind of trying to do more of a random thing. Okay. So I'm just going to um, take this and try to shake it around a little bit to get the whole surface covered. If you're really interested in resin, though, of course, check out my BFF Amy Crafters Delights because she is the queen of resin. And I am a total amateur compared to her. Okay, so I'm going to put this on cardboard because I'll need to bring it over to my UV lamp um, when I'm done. In the meantime, <clears throat> let me grab a piece of tissue paper. Okay, so this tissue paper, you can just use plain white tissue paper from the dollar store. Uh, it has like a glossy side and a matte side, and I'll be stamping on the matte side. And I will be using Stays On ink. Someone asked if you could draw a picture on the tissue paper and put it in resin. Um, and I think you probably could with a Sharpie. I think that would work. I haven't tried it, though. So I am going to be using... Uh, these stamps, these are from Michaels, they're Studio G stamps, and they are $1.50. 
but I've heard that you can get them at Walmart for a dollar. So if you want to check that out, um, <clears throat> on all of these, I've been just putting kind of motivational little phrases. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put, what should this one say? What should it say? Um, live. Let's do live. That's a good message. It's good to live, right? Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this out. And if it's a little crooked and messy, that's totally fine. Because you want it to look kind of not perfect. Um, I... I don't know what it is about the stays on ink, but it kind of smells good to me. I don't know if that's weird or not. Um, I'm probably going to get my head in. Oh, I'm not even in camera. Okay. Um, I can't see what I'm doing. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> okay. I might have to get out of camera to do this. Sorry, guys. I can't see because my camera's in the way. I mean, you don't want it to be perfect, but you don't want it to be ridiculously horrible either. Okay, let me do this real quick. Sorry. Okay, almost done, almost done. If I can get these stamps out. <clears throat> I would like this to be a quick video. And E. Okay, so there it is. Sorry I had to do it off camera. Live. Okay. And I am going to cut that out. Or live, I guess it could be. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Either way, it's a good thing. <laughs> Doesn't say dead, so I guess that's good. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to stick that right there. And it's probably going to move around a little bit on me when I put the resin in. But, um... That's okay. Okay, so let me show you the resin that I'm using because you can actually get this at Michael's um, or you can order it like I ordered mine on Amazon. Uh, this is Lisa Pavelka's Magic Gloss and um, so that is what I'm using. Patico also has uh, several different UV resins um, but I haven't ordered any since I closed my store because, you know, they're in Japan. Okay, so... I am going to squirt some of this bottle's almost empty. Just take your time with it because, um, am I in camera? Yeah, okay. Uh, you don't want to break that tension seal, as Amy would say, which has happened to me quite a bit. Um, and then it starts dripping over the edge and it's kind of a disaster. I'm going to sort of try to get it to spread out a little bit before I start poking my little skewer in there. I hope my head's not in the way. I'm trying to keep it out of the way. I'm sure my hand is, though. Okay. Let's start with that. So I'm going to take the skewer, and I'm going to try to just gently push the resin to the edges. And while I'm at it, um, kind of get rid of any bubbles. And sometimes when I'm doing this, the best way is for me to get down on my, my knees in front of it so that I can see it at that level so I can really see uh, if I'm getting to the edges all the way because when you look at it at eye level 
level with the, the bezel. You notice things you can't notice if you're looking down on it. This may need a little bit more. And just um, kind of turn it so you can see it from all different angles. And be very gentle when you're pushing the resin to the edges so that you don't break that, that tension seal. There's just a little, oh, just one little corner that's not filling up. I think that's pretty good. There's a little bit over here that is not. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. I was telling Amy the other day, I'm so nearsighted that I actually, it helps me to take off my glasses to do this sometimes. Okay, well hopefully that's okay. I think I got it. Pretty much as good as it's going to get. And there are bubbles. So, what I learned from my dear friend Amy is that you can take, don't do this with polyester resin, just do it um, with this um, epoxy resin or UV resin. Take one of these big lighters, and this one is brand new and it's like a torch. Um, so you can't even see the flame, and just sort of go over it and it pops, it pops the bubbles. Oh my god, I can't, honestly I can't even see the flame. Let me use them. That lighter is too strong. Let me grab a match. You can actually hear and see the bubbles popping. Okay. I'm going to go through this in the UV uh, lamp for about 10 minutes and I will be back. I'm back. So here it is. I, I don't think it was even in there for 10 minutes. Totally smooth and shiny. I did have a piece of glitter uh, float up because I didn't wait for it to dry. Focus. So how quick and easy is that? It's so easy. And I just love the effect. I mean, I really do. I think it's really neat how the tissue paper disappears. And then you're just left with this this nice little black whatever sentiment or picture or whatever you decide to put on your tissue paper. So very quick and easy would make great little gift tags I think or little charms for bracelets or anything like that. Cute little gifts so hopefully this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions please post them down below and I will talk to you later. Bye!